Hello my YouTube friends, Late Boy Scout here. I'm going to give you a look at the Mora number two. This is pretty much a collector for me. I'm not going to put any kind of hard use into this knife. Just wanted to have it because I love the way it looks and it does look cool. Basically this is a larger brother to the Mora number one. Which has a narrower, excuse me, a what would you call that? Not narrower. Yeah, I think it is narrower, actually, in the actual blade steel. But then the breadth of the blade is actually a bit narrower as well. And shorter. So, smaller overall, lighter weight overall. Mm, less robust, less capable overall. Uh, not necessarily. I wanted this one because it's just slightly bigger, slightly more capable, and just kind of cool looking. I love the classic look of that, of that wood there, that red wood, that stained wood. looks beautiful. I love it just the way it is. And that steel, of course, looks beautiful, looks gorgeous. More knife on that side, stamped into the blade. Looks really good. Carbon steel, of course. That's my preference. You don't have to get the carbon steel version. I think they have a stainless steel version, but I could be mistaken on that. Made in Sweden, as you can see. Why did I want this knife? Mainly because of, well, Cody Lundin has it, and I think he's awesome. I've read one of his books, and I'm working on reading the other one, and I just love the dude. I mean, I like his style, I like what he's about. And I think he's uh, really got it together survival-wise, knows his stuff. So yeah, I admire him. And he's got one of these knives, and I wanted one too. That's basically all there is to it. It's a cool-looking knife, though, isn't it? At first glance, if you don't know anything about Mora knives, you might say, dude, that looks cheap. It looks like a butter knife. It looks like something I'd have in my kitchen that I got for 25 cents at a yard sale. I mean, what's special about that? Again, you kind of have to go into the history of Mora knives, where they came from, what they're about, the simplicity, the Scandinavian grind on these beautiful knives. Again, if this is the first Mora knife video of mine that you've watched, the Scandinavian grind basically means that as opposed to a normal knife blade, which is ground down from the stock and then brought to this terminating edge and then ground down to an actual cutting edge, okay? As opposed to that, what you have here is the blade stock ground down from here all the way to the terminating cutting edge. Okay, on both sides it's ground that way. The result is a very sharp and very beautiful edge. This particular one might be a little dangerous to use actually since that edge comes all the way to here and that handle is kind of small, so I almost want to get my finger all the way up on there and could easily cut my knuckle if I'm not careful. So you might want to uh, kind of be a little more careful, choke backward on this, and be sure that your finger is away from that cutting edge. I think the number one doesn't have that problem. Not really a problem if you're careful, but I don't think the number one has that. If it's really a problem for you, if you find yourself on the verge of getting cut, I don't know, maybe take a Dremel tool and kind of grind that away so that um, you have a little more safety there. I really don't want to damage this knife though. Again, it's kind of a collect collectible for me. And a very affordable collectible at that. 10 to $11, something like that for this knife. That's all. Sheesh, what kind of a collectible is it if you only paid 10 or $11 for it? <laughs> well, it's enough of a collectible for me. I'll tell you that. It's a fairly thick blade with sort of sharp edges on the end, which I think is Moore's way of telling you, hey dude, use this to scrape away at your ferro rod, start your fires. Don't use this, use this. Nice and sharp, nice and uh, scratchy there. And the sheath has a very classic look to it, even though it's just a simple molded plastic. It makes you feel like it's something else. It makes you feel like, I don't know, like it's a sheath to some kind of a sword, and it's made out of leather. Of course it's not. No real retention to this knife, except for friction. Okay, no snap that you find with the, uh, the Mora Clipper, which kind of clips, or clicks into place, as well as the Mora All-Round 7-Eleven. 
which also kind of has a click into place knife, giving you good retention there. All this does is drop in and stay in like that. Okay? So, decent enough retention for Cody Lundin, probably decent enough for me. Again, it's really a collector, not something I'm going to use. So, yeah, it's really just kind of, I bought it for the cool factor, and I like the way it looks, and I'm going to put it maybe on a shelf or in a drawer and pull it out every once in a while to give it a closer look. More knives are fantastic knives, and even if I did choose to not make this a collector, and in fact put it into hard use and daily use as a good bushcrafting knife, I'm confident that this thing would do a fantastic job at that. Just because Mora knives are built for that kind of work. I'm the late Boy Scout. Again, this is the Mora number two. Fantastic knife. See you guys later.